Eddie Springer from Springer Solar and today we're here to talk about lithium deep cycle batteries. Lithium's been one of the biggest changes in battery technology that we've seen over the last five years. Lithium batteries are a real game changer in the way we use batteries in our RVs. Lithium batteries are much lighter than their deep cycle equivalents. So they, they're, they're a more energy dense product. So more amp hours for less weight. Lithium batteries allow us to cycle them further. So we can discharge more energy out of our lithium battery without doing as much damage. Our conventional AGM batteries, our conventional deep cycle batteries, their cycle life is, is affected by how deep you discharge them. Lithium is far less affected by depth of discharge. We can use nearly all the stored capacity in a lithium battery and we can do that thousands of times. Faster recharge time. We can fill, a lithium battery will absorb energy very quickly. So if you're recharging from solar, recharging from our vehicle, or recharging from a 240 volt battery charger, we can get a lot more energy back into that battery very quickly. Lithium batteries have a wider temperature operating range for most brands of lithiums. So they're, they're, they're a little bit more robust in how they work. Downside to lithium batteries is they're a lot more expensive initially and they're more sensitive to how we charge them and so there's various types of products that you will need if you're looking at upgrading to a lithium battery for your RV. Lithium batteries are expensive up front but if we look at the number of cycles you get out of a lithium battery and the amount of energy that you can draw out of that battery on each cycle overall over a long life lithium batteries are cheaper cost per cycle. This lithium battery here is a Victron 90 amp hour LiPo. So LiPo is the type of chemistry in this lithium battery. There's other, different, other chemistry types of lithiums. LiPo uh, or lithium ion phosphate batteries are quite stable uh, in their chemistry and they work well for our applications. Lithium batteries are sensitive and harder you, you need a more sophisticated charging setup. So if you're looking at upgrading your lithium battery and you're putting a new lithium battery into your vehicle, you really need to look at all the forms of charge that you're using to charge that lithium. So when charging from our vehicle, charging from an alternator, you'll need a good quality DC to DC charger. Enerdrive and Red Arc are shown here. Both of these have a lithium algorithm. So both of these can be set up to charge lithium batteries to ensure they get the right charge while you're driving. If you're charging a lithium battery from a solar controller, you know, all good quality solar controls will allow you to set up a lithium um, profile for the charging regime. You know, on the Victron, it's a little dial switch underneath or you connect, connect to the unit via your phone and you can adjust the settings in it. 240 volt battery charger. You know, if we're charging from a generator or we're charging from mains power at home, the 240 volt battery charger needs to be set up with a lithium profile. Lithium batteries, when we're trying to measure state of charge, it's a little bit harder to do. Conventional deep cycle batteries, we can easily measure voltage, and from voltage we get a feel for how full or flat that battery is. A lithium battery, whether it's 100% full or 20% full, will show almost the same terminal voltage. It'll show pretty much 12.8 the whole way through its discharge. So to know how full or flat a lithium battery, we really need a state of charge monitor. You know, this calculates the amount of energy into our lithium battery and out of the system to determine the overall state of charge. This unit here, Victron uh, battery management system, it, it's measuring that energy in and out via the shunt. So a little metal bar that sits down the bottom next to the battery looks at all the different charging sources. It adds up all those bits of energy into the battery and then it looks at all the different loads. And from that it calculates the amount of energy into the system and out of the system. If we're putting more energy in than we're taking out, the battery will stay full and it will show 100% state of charge. As we pull more energy out of the battery than we're putting in, you'll see that state of charge slowly decline. 
and lithium batteries are good down to about 10% of their capacity before they need to be recharged. And you can recharge them very quickly. So the life cycle of a lithium battery, we start pushing out to 10, 12, 15 years. So higher upfront cost, but if we look at cost per cycle and cost over life, lithium should be cheaper than an AGM or a conventional deep cycle equivalent. 